Many thanks. Thanks for the invitation of our 2012 our International World Culture Symposium Organization Committee for having me here. And uh, I'm uh, privileged to have this opportunity to share with you my research. Actually, as a, I'm not an expert to this one. Well, rather, my study is related to Chinese Zhuang autonomous region. Chuang minorities and Dong minorities are cultural links with uh, the ASEAN countries like uh, Laos and uh, the Thais. I'm studying the comparison between the Dong and the minority groups with their neighboring uh, countries, counterparts. So for the culture, for the study, and the research methods, for me, I'm a formidable. I believe a formidable task for me. Because for, uh, for ASEAN, for Southeast Asia, I mean, it's just a study in Vene and uh, Laos. So the pictures and graphs, I want to share with you my perspective and understanding to wood culture. So I will illustrate certain pictures from Laos and, and, Vene, and Vene. These two slides are from Laos. To the left hand is the preparation for weaving, for, for weaver spinning. To the left, right hand, that's for splitting uh, for the wood, firewood, the fuel wood. These three slides are in the remote hinterland in the countryside. This is the canoes locally, very dangerous to board. You can see uh, for the, the, the rapid current, so. It's very dangerous to board this canoe. This is our, before entering the village, you have to cross the ladder, the wood ladder. This one is our drinking. They use a bamboo shoot and they use your nose, nasal drinking, through your nose. It's very peculiar. In Song Dynasty in China, there, there is a literature depicting the drinking of wine with, with the nose instead of mouth. We call it nasal drinking. Nasal drinking. You can see this. Uh, they use nose for drinking. For swimming, you may be choked. But for them, they, there is no question to them at all. They can drink at ease with the nose. However, unfortunately, this phenomenon is dwindling on the wedding ceremony or on the big rituals, they can have these uh, some still old people. They can still use their nose for drinking. For, for youngsters, nobody can have this mastery. And this uh, particular type, the straw, this uh, this uh, bamboo straw and wood straw, is a tradition there. This uh, the last one is in Laos. The ladies in the countryside they use this uh, bamboo basket uh, to get uh, the bamboo shoots and leaves in the bamboo forest uh, for their dinner. For their dinner, the very day in Laos, they use glutinous rice. Four o'clock early in the morning, they will get up to have the whole bowls of uh, the glutinous rice. So the whole family will have it as the main food. Well, the staple food, they have to wait until they can get the, the fresh bamboo shoes. Otherwise, they have to eat the glutinous rice only without any vegetables. At 10 o'clock, I entered their home and I heard that uh, they will have the village chief. And then they saw the Chinese uh, guests coming from uh, far away. And you can see, you can hear the kitchens, the, the crinkling uh, in the kitchens. This, this, no, this voice means you have something good to eat. That's in China. Because you have friends coming from afar, it will be a blessing. But however, unfortunately, we were disappointed and frustrated. But they were, what they are doing, they are doing the bamboo shoes. We believe we have the meat. However, what well, they have only the bamboo shoes instead of meat. They may have the bamboo. Uh, maybe 
so different cultures. So we have different uh, tradition customs. These are bamboo basket is for them to gather the bamboo shoes in the bamboos in the forest. This is uh, the bamboo, we call bamboo worms. In Guangxi, uh, Thomas region and uh, Guangdong, it's very expensive. It's a rarity because you can find the worms from the bamboo from, and this is very precious and valuable. Maybe for the professor from out of China, maybe you can have a taste if you dare to later on in China to have a taste of this bamboo worms. There's a temple in bamboo. There's a ritual for so they found uh, for you the that's uh, the the script they finished the compilation of uh, for the 200 volumes for the script so this is ritual for the celebration of the completion of this uh, this uh, religious script or uh, this made of wood this is founded by a german foundation so in Laos, bamboo can be used as the vehicle for writing. This is uh, the, the bamboo leaves for writing. This is uh, another story, an uh, independent story, that is uh, we call the bamboo bucket uh, rice, steamed rice. I, I mentioned earlier that they use the glutinous rice as the main food. So they put the raw rice in, then steam it. When the rice is ready, they split the bamboo and they got the bamboo uh, rice. This is in, in Chuanbang areas of Laos. This uh, residents, they call the Kadu autonomous, Kadu ethnic groups, made of uh, thaws, uh, made of thaws as the roof, then use the wood, they use bamboo as the walls. This is in Laos. This for the cradle, for the ladies. This is the first batch of our currencies. You can see this is uh, the transportation of uh, lumbers, the timbers. This is the first uh, collection uh, for the uh, currencies in Laos. So Laos is still the major exporter for timbers for Chinese uh, market, in particular the red wood. Most of the red wood of Chinese market comes from Laos. The last one is uh, the cart, the wagon. This is the seat out of wood. There's a friend from Fulan University, and uh, we, together we made the investigation and the research study in Laos. So, so the previous pictures we can see for the wood culture study, the name of the game is we should approach it from the field research method with historical, uh, anthropological, and folklore perspective to make the multidisciplinary study. We have two ways of study. Number one is the observation, number two is a focus uh, interview. And for observation, the researchers should have the in-depth discussion to them to get exposure to their life, to have the hands-on experience, to feel and see their life. So that's the first by observation. In particular, observation should be focused on, on their value and their attitude toward life. Seeing is a uh, one thing. Observation is a part of the story, but we cannot understand what you see, but we have to have the focus uh, interview, we call the in-depth interview. That is, uh, it is not uh, arranged in advance. We should have the impromptu interview. I'm trained as a historian. I will take a look at the tombstone or script. I use script to make a study. But for, as a field study, you have to ask who established this uh, tombstone, and who wrote the script, etc., etc. A lot of questions will be arranged in a systemic way for the study. So in-depth uh, interview is very important. So to achieve these two objectives, observation, in-depth interview, are necessity. You have to understand what the context 
uh, for the uh, objective. So we are the researchers, so we should know or understand the objectives uh, uh, idea, uh, context. So we should not be project be objective. We should be subjective. So we should have different idea. That is uh, the, the third person. We should answer the third person. This is uh, back in 1991. In Vietnam, that's a Jew, a group in Jew. In Yunnan, that's uh, the family of three. Living in the, uh, uh, the cave, the rock cave. They are, they don't have the clothes, they have nothing. Their possession is zero. That's the family of three. Uh, this is the family of three. Uh, this is the family of three. 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 This is the but this family of three, they're still living in that way. So we should not be preemptive or objective, for, uh, be subjective, because we believe that uh, uh, we should we come from the primary period to the slave period to capitalist period, period period to the uh, communism period. That's the evolution period, kind of Karl Marx. But what about this one? In the modern society, 1991, the Venon family of three still live in the primitive way, this is in the cave. So we should not be objective. So subjective idea should be uh, eliminated. This is a car of loss. A, a car people, uh, according to our study, we found something f we kind of shy kind of in the society for the Akka ladies. That's a daily, they, they don't use the, they are and the bra in Chinese is a taboo, right? Yeah. So the tighter, the better for the women. So the women should not be exposed to their upper. So after childbearing, according to the Akas, after childbirth, they will show their breasts to mean that they are fertile in terms of the childbearing. But according to Chinese tradition, it should be a taboo. It's indecent. indecent or obscene even. So some of the researchers uh, dare not uh, take pictures because we are trained according to Chinese culture. That women should not disclose, expose uh, his uh, upper. So, and they have our, uh, the, there's a bath, there's a shower with a spill water, including me. Nobody will feel shy or, or whatever. Because there's only one river close by, there's only one river to take a shower. So people are at ease with each other, women and the men. You want to see the secret? You cannot see it. Because during, during the shower, shower they use uh, the cloth to wrap their body. And in the in the shower, so you can now see the secret part for the ladies. Anyway, how to understand such kind of a culture? We need the in-depth field interview to identify what is in their mind. And secondly. I'd like to talk about the cultural relativity. In the Chinese mindset, we think we developed from the primitive society to the modern society. But a lot of research has uh, proven that it takes uh, the time vana and the other factors to form a society. And it's not necessary for them to uh, develop from the primitive and then to the modern society. So culture has its uh, relativity. How we can cross bond uh, the concept of culture and civilization? And up to now, maybe we have 168 uh, concepts or understandings. And now let's look at uh, the comprehension of uh, Edward Tyler. He wrote a book 200 years ago. 
So maybe um, a lot of people could not understand such kind of uh, understanding. Talking about the cultural relativity, we need to acknowledge different uh, uh, cultures existing in the world. In the past, we also have those kind of uh, European or American centralism. And uh, for the Southeast uh, Asia, not uh, too much depiction of their history. So what does this mean? We are writing about the uh, states, Japan, Europe, and uh, to the um, European history, and also the um, modern tech in the states. It's because uh, we're influenced by this kind of cultural centralism, which is not right. I'm also a strong minority in Guangxi. But ever since uh, the college life, when I was in college in Wuhan, some classmates uh, could not uh, well understand our ethnic uh, culture. They would ask, what's the necessity for uh, the existence of a drunk minority, something like that? So we have to acknowledge the cultural relativity. We need to acknowledge the coexistence of different uh, cultures. However, we also see the shortcomings of the cultural relativity, and it's a uh, defied uh, the rules and uh, uh, unity of the human culture. And how we can do the field uh, questionnaire or survey? And uh, you are familiar with this, and I will skip. And second, certainly, and the cultural, eco cultural ecology. So we are exploring the local knowledge and uh, development for the human culture. That is, for the knowledge of the lo uh, locality, it refers to the values, concepts, and uh, a life experience in a specific uh, area for the local society, natural environment, uh, and uh, humanities. Uh, in for the Eskimos, uh, they live in the North Pole. This is their no houses, and in Laos, they have this kind of uh, uh, houses. This is one form of the house. They have to elevate uh, this house for one meter or two meters from the floor. In Guangxi, Zhuang, and in Yunnan Dai minority area. Uh, this kind of architecture is uh, quite popular in the Southeast Asia area. This is quite uh, popular for such kind of a uh, house. Uh, it is mainly for ventilation because it's quite hot in those uh, areas. In Laos, uh, I also took this picture of this uh, Tainu people. This is a, a new house. And they were celebrating for the new house. And they used some banana skins to form this kind of uh, triangles uh, to pray to the God. Before relocating to the new house, the relatives, the villagers, will bring some glutinous uh, bamboo rice into this uh, uh, triangle bamboo uh, or banana leaf. And uh, they made the house uh, out of wood. So they are trying to offer such kind of sacrifice uh, to the gods. And for drawing minority, we also kind of uh, different uh, rituals. I will not go into the details. And from the food, to different uh, uh, dishes from Vietnam, <coughs> from breakfast uh, to dinner. This is a quite a typical 
the bean sprouts, uh, lemon, and uh, the pepper, mint, etc. And uh, eggs. Uh, before they uh, form the chicken, and this is quite uh, popular in Vietnam. And from the uh, historic uh, literature, this is a, a rock painting from the Vietnam. They are doing such kind of uh, research. They think that they have their own uh, language. And uh, they hope that they can date back to 4,000 years ago. Actually, uh, after the Han Dynasty, they used uh, the Chinese characters. And this is a kind of a, kind of a joke in China. This kind of a jade chair um, auctioned at a price of. Uh, <coughs> 220 million. So how can we have this uh, jade chair in Han Dynasty, which turned out to be a kind of a joke? So in the Chinese market, maybe now it's uh, kind of a chaotic. And last but not least, I think that uh, for the older culture, we should integrate them with uh, the botany and also uh, the literature, art, and folklore knowledge so that we can do this integrated and cross-discipline research. And uh, in Sicily Island in Italy, in the 17th century, they have this uh, sugar can machine, different from ours. For ours, uh, it was uh, smaller and uh, lighter. So my conclusion <coughs> is, some historians uh, divided the human history into bronze civilization and iron civilization, but actually the wood civilization uh, is uh, all over the entire history of the human civilization. It's quite important. We have time for a short question. Yes, Howard? Because the taste buds, people eat and drink because of the taste. What advantage is there by drinking it in the nose where you couldn't taste it? Uh, I think it is one reason. In the ocean time, the, the people uh, they, they need to drink the water or wine through the nose, may, may, may let them feel more cold. More cold. Yeah. So. <laughs> but thank you very much.